Hey guys, regular guy. Pain BQ. Baba Q. Gonna be here for you today. And there is, and I say it that way, is we're gonna be doing a little bit of stir fry on the grill. Something a little different, something unusual. Um, vegetables and pork, real simple recipe. Probably gonna use a soy sauce and some seasonings to make it go round. Um, but one of the things I do want to point out, not only do we go to our local farmer's market to get a lot of our vegetables, but these actually came from our pepper plants right here that we grow at home. Over here, over there. Over there. So, and none of these are hot peppers. <clears throat> We're just going to go with the sweet, their sweet peppers. We so think. Well, we think, yeah. <laughs> so far, the ones that we've had. So what I do with the long ones is I'll cut them in half like that, cut the end off, and just scrape the insides out. And it's beautiful when you work outside because you can just throw them in the ground and then just cut them into pieces. I cut myself to pieces. Anyway. This is my last dessert. Yeah. So we just take the insides out and we're going to cut those up. Make the insides outsides. Now our vegetables, normally when you cut vegetables for seasonings and for things like that, for garnishes or whatever, you're going to make them a little smaller. I like to do them a little bit bigger for stir fries. That way you can get them on a fork. Uh, with green peppers, now a lot of people will cut the end off and then they'll try to scoop the insides or get the guts out of them. That I try to do it this way because then I can avoid the guts almost entirely sometimes, once in a while, occasionally, but not on Tuesday. And you just, that's gone. See? I'm under, under her chair. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> score! Make new pepper plants. There you go. Matt would grow new pepper plants that way. And again, we're not going for real small on these. We're just doing them in nice chunks. And again, I'm horrible at making perfect sizes, and they're all perfectly even, I try. But, you know, whatever. Alright, so we're also going to be doing, if you'd please, please fill my bowl up there with the other vegetables that we have. We've got some green peppers from the market. We've got some other colors that we're going to add in there to make it look pretty. And then we're going to be using a yellow or a white onion and a red onion. So we got a lot of vegetables we're going to add to that. And we've got some pork that we bought that was on sale again, because I like to buy reduced price foods, because cheap bastard. <laughs> do we have rice or are we doing uh, no, noodle? No, we're not doing rice. We're, we're just going to do it this way. Um, we're going to add those to this, uh, the pork as well. It's already pre-cut so it makes it easier for us and it was on sale so that's a good thing. We'll uh, get all these vegetables diced up for you and then we'll show you the next step. Alright, so our meat's been soaking in the marinade there or whatever you want to call it, a sort of a marinade. We're going to use it to cook with as well, not just take it out. And veggies are seasoned and everything and I brought my wok outside. Now I have a cast iron wok which is really nice and I love cooking inside with this. But um, size matters. So, Sometimes. You guys know what we do when size matters, right? What do we do? It's time for El Cabong. So we're going to heat El Cabong up, get it nice and hot. And we're going to do stir fry in there. Now, again, normally I'd use my wok because I like to have the curved sides for doing this. But we just made too much darn food. What else is new? <laughs> it's Tuesday. I made food. So, we're going to get our avocado earl. No, it's free shavakadu. It, it's who's a what to did? Free shavakadu. That's easy for you to say. So we're going to oil up our pan pretty healthily because we don't want none of the food to stick. Right? There we are. Oh, shoot. I'm going to start my phone, sorry. Don't, don't drop your phone. We kind of need that. So there we go. We're going to let that heat up for just a minute, maybe three. Is it... It's a pretty heavy pan, as you guys know, and it's probably going to take a little bit to get the, all that metal heated up. Our handle's coming loose, too. I'm going to tighten that up later today. So, in the meantime, I want to know how you guys' summer's been going. You know, everybody Sweaty. Having, it's been warm in a lot of places in the country, raining a lot of other places. Darn wildfires doing a lot of nasty damage to places. We pray for all those people that have nasty weather. We've had our fair share, as you guys know. We've had flooding in our house. And, but they know us. Well, we've persevered through it. We're doing good. We hope you're doing good as well. If not, we hope for things to do better tomorrow. Leave comments below if you want to uh, comment on your how your summer's been going overall. All right. So here comes the meat. And again, this is probably in the neighborhood of four-ish pounds. Plus maybe a cup or two of that apple juice and several tablespoons of soy sauce. We don't care how much it is. It'll cook just fine. There we go. So I always add the meat first because obviously the meat takes the longest to cook, right? You guys know that. Nice and sizzle. Love the first sizzle. Love the first sizzle. The first sizzle is the best sizzle. I need to back up a bit. I don't want to get splashed. Oh, <laughs> well, we get the meat going on there. And, and you know, because this stuff is cut real small like that, 
it's probably not going to take a super long period of time maybe it's in the five to ten minute range to cook all that down to get it nice and nice and cooked and done and with pork and chicken you know you got to be a little bit careful about temperature it's virtually impossible to temperature this stuff so we got to do it by sight usually pork's really pink when you start cooking or before you cook it turns a nice whitish color when it's done and the scissor went away i'm gonna have to add some more heat to this thing to get it really hot oh that's starting to heat up okay hey all you did was ask what or did sizzle. You know? please be warm no that's sizzle more i love it when it sizzles it sizzles okay so we'll give that a few minutes and then we'll show you the next step so we got a good 10, maybe even 15 minutes on these. You can see the vegetables are getting nice cooked, yet not soft. Please be my taste tester. Taste any piece that you want or several if you'd like. Okay, and so tell the YouTube the what you like. See what you think. Well, if you don't like it, tell me that too. Yeah, tell YouTube. Tell me what you think. Other than it's really flipping hot. <laughs> Sorry about that. I get sued for burning her mouth. Meat. Go ahead. Be my guest. Hot. What you think? Gotta be honest. Oh, we've been burning hot. Flavor's burning okay. Up. All right. There you go. So we're gonna scoop this up. I gotta grab my bowl quick. Gotta get my bowl. Bowl yo yo. Bowl yo yo. There we are. You guys know how to do this, right? And we're probably going to make some dirty rice or something similar to serve this. So that you serve with white rice, you serve with noodles, you serve it with... That's the way it is. However Whatever you, you like. It, you serve it. In the meantime, we're going to wrap up this video. We'll get on out of here and get to eating. I want to say thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you being here. As usual, like the videos if you like them. Give them that thumb. If you don't like it, give it two thumbs down because more thumbs is better. Share these videos everywhere you possibly can because we got to grow our... Our uh, regular bar guy barbecue family to over a thousand subscribers, so we can do our next giveaway. You guys, if you don't remember that one, when we hit a hundred, we gave away a hundred dollars in cash. I'm not going to tell you what the next one's going to be, but I know it is. Rest assured, it will be a good video, and it'll be a great giveaway. Somebody's going to be happy when they get the prize. Uh, ring a ding notification, hit the all button, so you know when we come on with another video. And that's all. Well, subscribe too. Please make sure everybody that comes out here subscribes so we can get them subscribers to a thousand. We're gonna have sneaky Pete <laughs> the piece out of there. <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna get on out of here and go eat. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you real soon.